Hey everybody, it's Ashley here. Welcome back to Nostalgic Time. We got a little bit of spookiness for you tonight. We got from Hasbro 2002, Vampire Hunter the Game. Yes, that's right. This thing came out of the box brand new, so it's a little stiff on the board, but I think it's going to be kind of neat because we're going to have to do a little different thing here tonight. I will have to dim the lights for you. When we start this up so you can see what it does. It's pretty cool. I checked it out. You know, had some fun looking it over. Anyways, here you go. You got Vampire Hunter, the game. That's right. You will pick your hunter and try to go after Dracus the Vampire. There's a little look at the instructions for you there. Kind of colorful and cool. But yes, he's up in this tower. You're going to go between day and night to get this guy. You got to go through the graveyards. You got to take secret passages and try to hope you get over the pits and traps to get up to that tower and take him out. And of course... You have tiles you can land on throughout the game that could either be good or bad. You don't know. I mean, you got your gravestones, you got your skulls, you got your ravens and your rats. And then, of course, which every vampire hunter needs, a little bit of garlic. That's right. And you're trying to get there before Dracus' ship comes to free him. And the dice is very simple. You'll roll the numbered dice, of course. And when it's time to battle Dracus, you will roll the special dice, which says things like hit and even has a skull on it. Of course, if you battle him and you roll Skull, game is over for you. That is right. The cards here will tell you whether to move the ship or, you know, turn the tower to day or night. Now, this is where I'm going to dim the lights for you. I'm going to try, hopefully, not to get in front of the camera. I promise the lights will go back on. But if you guys will bear with me, it's going to get a little dim here for a second. So you can see what's going to happen. Let's see if I can also get this without getting entirely in front of the camera. One second here. There we go. All right, so you can see the red, of course, goes for day. And when it tells you swap, blue for spooky night. You got to like that, okay? I think that's kind of cool. And the game even suggests to play this, you know, with dim lighting such as even little night lights. Look at that. Let me do that one. Okay, there we go. And we'll turn that off and I'll get the lights back on for everybody. One more. Give me a second here. There we go. And right, this game here, of course, this takes 4C batteries, ages 9 and up. And it's pretty cool. And you can do up to four players. I think it's pretty cool. The tower's a neat little thing. Now I wish the graveyard little wall was a little bit longer, you know, separates the graveyard from the marsh and everything. But the tower's still pretty neat that they put together. So give it a try. Vampire Hunter, the game, 2002 from Hasbro. You can force... Find it on eBay, and now that puts the game approximately 21 years old, and now I feel really old. And while I can, let's go hunt some vampires. And I will catch you guys later, and have a good weekend.